हाय एवरीवन सी सरदीप कपूर वेलकम टू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑप्शंस प्लेलिस्ट पार्ट टू सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ दिस प्लेलिस्ट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ मैथमेटिकल अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑप्शंस एंड ट्रेडिंग एंड बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड मार्केट्स फ्राम अ मोर मैथमेटिकल एंड प्रोबिलिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव एंड दिस विल रिमूव ऑल द इफ्स एंड बट्स and the edge cases which you have in your mind and help you become a better trader overall so in the previous video we covered the black scholes model merton formula this formula is used for calculating the price of a call option or a put option and these are the metrics it depends on now this formula works for all assets so this works for stocks commodities gold currencies anything crypto you want to trade on this formula remains the same now specifically for the case of crypto only one thing changes that is the risk free interest rate so for the stock market of india if you were to trade nifty you would have to take the risk free interest rate at 6.5 so today is the 18th of may so i'm talking of today it may change if you view this video at a later time but the current risk free interest rate of our country is trading at 6.5% which coincides with the repo rate of the RBI the same thing for the US stock market is currently trading at around 5% uh, which depends upon the SEC's uh, decided rate of the 10 year uh, bond yield okay so that is what the risk free interest rate is. and in the case of the crypto markets the risk free interest rate is taken to be zero so it is assumed that the risk free interest rate of the crypto markets is zero so let us now understand the first option greeks which is the most simplest to understand which is theta so you may, you may have learned about theta decay bringing losses to your option buying positions or somebody making profit from theta decay when they are selling options and all of the other random information which you may have learned from other youtubers but i'll present you with a more concrete understanding of what theta actually is so this is the price of a call option now to find out theta so what is theta theta is the rate of change of an option's price with respect to time so remember when we used to study about what speed is so speed is basically rate of change of distance with time similarly theta is the rate of change of an option's price with respect to time so we used to find out speed by dividing distance with time right so again this logic will apply here so for any uh, function which is not continuously distributed like this one you have to basically differentiate the formula so you have to differentiate distance with respect to time if you have to calculate speed so similarly we will differentiate this formula with respect to time to find out theta so basically to find out theta we have to do a del c by del t which will help us find the theta of the option okay so this is the formula for calculating theta of an option okay so as you can see from these terms here these terms are the same which same which we had earlier we have just differentiated them with respect to time similarly this is the case of a put option now specifically in the case of crypto this formula becomes very easy to understand because r usually has a very low value or is almost zero here so we can safely ignore this second term and we can focus only on the first term in both cases so theta decay works same for both call options and put options in the crypto market specifically if we were talking about the stock market then the theta for call options and put options works differently because in call options this specific function is subtracted and in put options this specific function is added okay now what we have to focus on is that s not denotes the stock price sigma denotes the volatility and this is the cdf so the cdf stays more or less constant uh, s not 
changes as the price of the stock changes and volatility for a small amount of time we can assume to be constant so basically this whole formula reduces to s naught upon 2 under root t so if i was to draw how this will look so i'll take you to desmos to show you how this formula would basically look like so we have a formula which will be similar to the function which i am currently drawing here so remember this was the formula which we had initially and in this we are only looking at the time part of it so this is how the formula looks like now when we zoom in here we get something which is called the graph of theta decay so as you can see as the expiry or the days to expiry so assume this is time so as the time becomes lesser and lesser the value of the option drops significantly lower so you can see that this rate of this uh, curve going down accelerates very highly as time goes to zero as time tends to zero this rate accelerates very highly okay so that is why we basically understand that options decay very fast when it is close to expiry that is why a lot of you will prefer uh, trading zero DTE options if you are an option seller because theta decay is very fast now to understand more about this let's look at this graph so this graph also explains the same thing but I just showed it to you how it actually happens mathematically so this graph also shows the same thing that uh, when days to expiry or the time to expiry is higher the theta decay has a slower effect so when you are trading a weekly or a monthly option and there are let's say 7 days or 30 days to expiry your options value will decay very slowly and it will start to decay very fast when there are let's say 1 or 2 days left for expiry or when there are 1 or 2 hours left for expiry so the options price will decay very fast so now if you are an option buyer you should prefer to keep yourself in this curve if you are an option seller you should prefer to keep yourself in this curve okay going back to this formula remember the theta only depends on two things mainly that is time which we just discussed about and on the stock or the assets price so if the asset price was to increase suddenly the theta decay will rise along with it okay so we also have to be mindful so we talked about option buyers case that what you have to do to become a better option buyer you just have to buy longer term options but for option sellers another thing which you have to take care of is the stocks price because that also alters the theta also another thing which a lot of youtubers don't cover is how theta decay impacts different type of options based on their moneyness so at the money options are impacted differently than in the money options are impacted differently than out of the money options so as you can see in the money options have a very straight curve of theta decay so if you have a in the money option which is valued at seven dollars with seven days to expiry you can say that this option will roughly decay equal on all days that is it will decay one dollar per day for out of the money options out of the money options decay very fast uh, when they are out of the money so they decay very fast early on and then the rate of decay slows down so in the money options rate of decay remains constant but for out of the money options the rate of decay is very high earlier on and then it slows down for at the money options the rate is reverse so it is very slow early on and it increases very fast as the expiry approaches closer so this is a difference between the rate of decay of out of the money options in the money options and at the money options so you should also take care of this while you are trading so if you are trading an add the money straddle an add the money straddle will not lose value one week to expiry or six days to expiry but it will lose value very fast when it is one or two days from expiry so 
if you are selling a straddle if you are selling a weekly or monthly straddle you should take this thing into note and that is not a good strategy to do a very good strategy if you are able to combine the information which you have gained from this video will be to sell out of the money options on a monthly expiry and as the expiry comes closer so if you sell out of the money options on a monthly expiry or a longer dated basis you will have good theta decay because these options are out of the money and as expiry comes closer you shift your out of the money options to add the money options to take benefit of this fast theta decay so this is also a good way towards understanding how to trade so people either think they have to trade straddles or they think they have to trade strangles but if you actually understood what theta is you would get to know that trading otm strangles higher days to expiry and then shifting to add the money straddles lesser days to expiry is the best way to trade okay if you like this video please uh, uh, leave a like and uh, i'll continue this video series if i receive at least 100 likes for this video thank you everyone for watching if you reach till here